we made it. Hey guys, my name is Alston. I'm a self-taught videographer and today I'll be showing you guys my home office. So I recently moved back with my parents in the East Bay after living in San Jose for like seven years, which is crazy how long it's been. But yeah, it definitely has not been an easy time, especially with everything going on. But that's exactly why I moved back. One thing I noticed when I move is that I could get too comfortable too fast. You know, leave boxes unpacked, not keep up my good routines and that's why I wanted to make a productive space for myself as soon as I could. It like forces you to get organized. That and I've always really been interested in setups for the longest time. My first attempt at a real setup had an L-shaped desk because I was into those at one point. Then over time I made some changes and slowly added more stuff to my, I guess, collection. And most of what you're gonna see I've already had for a while. My brother and my parents helped me clear out a lot of the stuff from our old rooms and he let me use his room as my office while my room became like storage in my bed. So shout out to my brother and my parents for helping me with all this and yeah, let's check it out. When I was looking for a color to paint my room, I ended up on a feng shui site and it, it was pretty cool. Apparently, the proper paint color is associated with where the room is facing. So this room faces west and that's considered the metal element and the suggested color is white or gray. And the article I was looking at recommended a specific paint color called Dreamy Cloud by Benjamin Moore. So what I did is I went to Kelly Moore Paints, I matched the color and that's what I ended up using. It's like a light gray blue, and it's not that much different from what it was before, but the old paint was getting worn, so a fresh coat was needed anyways. So the first thing I wanna go over is my TV setup, and yes, it is in front of the closet. The thing about that closet is that it's filled with a lot of old storage, and I'll probably never use it, and that's why I was okay with having it act as a wall, otherwise, there wouldn't be any room for the TV. But anyways, the TV stand is from Ikea and the TV is a 55 inch Sony X900H, which is a 2020 model in their mid-tier line of LED TVs and it looks amazing. Nice colors, deep blacks, really bright picture. For me, the built-in Chromecast and Alexa voice control is like the cherry on top. Then there's a sound bar. It's a Vizio sound bar with a paired subwoofer. Below are my PS4 Pro and Nintendo Switch. And to the left is an air cleaner. Placement isn't the best in terms of looks, I know, but it's closest to the window and I like it there because there's a tree right behind this house that just gives me crazy allergies. And lastly, my snake plant, which is on the right. And next up is my couch. This one was recently purchased. It was the smallest I could find, but it was still a little too long and gets a bit close to my chair, but it's not too bad. The couch is really comfy though. I've already benched Netflix and played video games on it for like hours. And sometimes if I'm working on my desk, I'll end up switching to my couch and do work on my laptop. I've got a small table next to the couch where I could put random stuff like my diffuser. I also have a mini charging station here too. And right above, I've got Jin and Mugen from Samurai Champloo, one of my all time favorite animes, one of my favorite soundtracks too. And right next to the frames are my nano leaves, which are LED light panels that give you different color patterns. And it's really nice to have if you're trying to get a different feel in the room. Last but not least, we have the workstation. I did the popular Alex drawer and tabletop combo, except I got my top from a standing desk company called Stand D. It's a 80 by 30 made from bamboo, and I've been using it for almost four years and it still works great. I have dual 27 inch LG monitors and those are connected to a PC. Now I'm primarily a Mac user, but I edit in Adobe Premiere and using that on my 2016 MacBook Pro was a nightmare. And I didn't know much about PCs or how to build them, so a friend of mine recommended a pre-built, and that's what I have here. I still prefer the UI of Macs, but using a PC for editing in Premiere is a lot better for me. For the speakers, I have my Audio Engine A2 Pluses, and for headphones, I have the Hi Fine Man HE400Is. It's an open back headphone that I use for casual listening. And then I have the AKG K553s. These are reference headphones, which I use for editing. And all of them are linked to this multi-channel amp, which makes switching between speakers and headphones a lot easier. Check this out. So the music is coming out of the speakers on the first channel. Now my headphones on the second. And the third channel controls my other pair of headphones. So I'll have the audio come out of my speakers during the day. And when it's night, I'll use my headphones so I won't disturb anybody. Then up here, I have my part iPhone, part Apple watch charger. 
and another smaller snake plant. Now for peripherals, I have my keyboard and mouse. They're both from Logitech's Ergo line. I used to use a regular keyboard and mouse, but I figured since I'm always at a desk, I should invest in ergonomic tools. So the keyboard has a curve, which makes the hands rest in a more natural position. The mouse goes for the same idea and it uses a trackball design. Still getting used to it though, but it does feel a lot better. And speaking of ergonomics, I have my chair. It's the Autonomous Ergo 2. And for the longest time I was using a gaming chair, but I wanted something that'd be better for my back in the long run, and I found this. It's not cheap, but if you don't want to spend like a thousand plus on a Herman Miller, then this would be a happy medium. It's a nice design. You could adjust like every part of the chair so you get a good seating position and it's comfy. I could sit on it for like hours. So last couple of things, on the right, I have this tiny dry erase board. I usually use that as a to-do list. And next to my desk on the left is my printer on top of another drawer. And on top of that is my San Jose frame that I got from Etsy. Like I mentioned before, I spent a lot of time in San Jose for school and work. And just being back home, I wanted something that could remind me of what to me was my second home. And that's pretty much everything. It's been about two months since I've settled in and it literally feels like the perfect space for me to work. One thing about this room though, because it faces west and it's on the second floor, it gets really, really good golden hour. And that's probably my favorite part of this room. And I never even noticed it growing up because the tree was a lot thicker back then. So it would block the sun. So I have a second use for this space, which is a YouTube studio. And it's not exactly how I'm filming it right now, but I'll go more into detail with that in the next video. Just a sneak peek, looks like this. So more of that next week, but I hope everything you've seen so far maybe gave you some ideas of your own setup. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.